G'day mates, Taras here. Today we're gonna to be talking about an invet all the way down under from Australia. I'm not gonna talk in accent anymore, I'm sorry everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about Cherex quadricarnatus. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Australian red claw crayfish. This is a species near and dear to my heart because uh, me and Eli, when we were at university, we actually trained in food, fish and shrimp and crayfish aquaculture. So it's always kind of nice, very rarely it happens when we see a species that we are used to seeing in the farming setting and we see it uh, on display and celebrated in the aquarium store. So the red claw crayfish is one of those species. This one is a member of the Parastacidae. So this is your Southern Hemisphere crayfish. Most of the crayfish in the world actually come from North America. The United States actually has the highest concentrations of them in the world. The Southern uh, regions of the world like Oceania, uh, Australia, Papua New Guinea, have a couple handful of crayfish species, but they get nice big ones, bigger ones than we ever get. So the red claws are one of those, and I love them because they essentially look like a textbook microscopic or smaller version of a American lobster. But they are 100% fresh water, you can keep them in a fresh water tank, and they can have some tolerances towards brackish water, but for the most part, they are a freshwater lobster. Lots of fun. If you ever thought of having a lobster and you uh, went through the numbers and thought it'd be a silly idea, Get one of these guys, they're lots of fun. You don't need a huge aquarium to keep one. The biggest pros and cons that they have, the pro is that they are, are a fantastic uh, cleanup crew in their own right. There won't be much uneaten feed left in the aquarium with these guys around. A con is that they are a little bit bigger and they can eat fish, especially if a fish is tired or sleeping. The crayfish is nocturnal and it might be uh, active at night feeding and if a fish is asleep, it might just get the nice opportunity to seize it. So never put a crayfish in your tank unless your fish are very large, very aggressive, but there's also trade-offs to that. The average crayfish right now has a very armored, chitin-rich exoskeleton, so it will not get bullied by just having fish around. But the second that crayfish grows and is doing well, it's going to have to molt. After it molts, it's gonna have a period of hours to days where it's gonna be very soft, and it's gonna have very sugary, sweet, delicious tissue. Think like a soft shell crab. So at that point, your red claw crayfish could be very vulnerable to being uh, picked on and eaten by uh, your fish. So there are a couple of unique challenges when trying to combine having a crayfish inside a fish system. But if you just wanna have a crayfish only tank, these guys are a fantastic, easy pet. As long as you have like a 20 gallon tank or so, I would frankly just recommend having a sponge filter because it'll give you all the biofiltration you need, all the oxygen you need, and will provide a, a site for biofilms to grow that the crayfish will uh, actually be able to graze on as well. One more important note when it comes to this species and many other crayfish species is that you really wanna have a tight fitting lid. You wanna have a nice, tightly fit, glass lid or something else to make sure there's no big open spaces for your crayfish to crawl out of. You have to keep in mind that in uh, the wild, Australia has a severe wet and dry cycle. So a lot of these crayfish species will actually be underground, wait for the rains to come, and then they'll make terrestrial migrations where they're actually crawling uh, through the mud. So depending on what happens with your tank, if there's an episode of stress or if the crayfish thinks the rainy season has kicked in, it will do whatever it can to get out of the tank and begin to migrate to wherever the heck it thinks it needs to go. Uh, probably somewhere down in your living room or your bathroom. So tightly fitting lid and uh, make sure that if you have even a sponge filter or any filters that uh, the lines are uh, nice and secured because they can and will use them as little ropes to get out of there. I can uh, attest to that from experience. Red claw crayfish. Absolutely fantastic inverts, really cool, uh, delicious, commonly aquacultured everywhere uh, as a food species, but um, we don't really eat them up here because it's very expensive to ship them, but now and again, we get live ones to celebrate in our tank. So, uh, Cherex quadricarnatus, red claw crayfish from Australia. If you'd like to add one to your tank to have a little mini lobster in your freshwater uh, system, come on down and pick one up, I, uh, I recommend it.